I'm Lisa Doyle with J. Rockcliffe Realtors. Today is Friday, April 29th, and welcome to our How's the Market update segment. And so as you know, we are updating you on a weekly basis on where we are in our East Bay market. You know, as the market evolves and changes and hopefully improves, of course, down the road, we'll keep you posted every step of the way. We know that the media does their best to really update you, but they don't give you um, an, a real look from the trenches, so to speak. You know, the, the media tends to, as much as they try to give you good information, they tend to be so far behind in what's really happening. So we want to keep you updated as to what's really going on. So as far as where we are um, as of today, I'm going to give you data that's taken place over the last week and then update you as far as how that's looking as far as the rest of the year, of course. Market continuing to stay pretty stable right now in our greater East Bay. Um, we've had in the last week 176 new properties that have come on the market. So this time of year, you know, traditionally we do see inventory increasing, which we're really not seeing that, as you'll see from other, other numbers. 181 homes went pending. So still a great balance. Um, you know, our prices have still stayed pretty um, flat, but the market at least being stable with new properties going pending, which is good news. There was 110 new, um, new escrows closed this last week, so homes actually closed and officially sold. And what's really great, and this, you know, these numbers always surprise everyone, out of that 110 homes closed, 24 of those were sold either at or above the asking price. So it really lets you know that a lot of people have a strategy when you list your home for sale that you have to leave yourself a lot of bargaining room. And really, if it's priced well, and exposed well, that's not necessary. So again, 24 properties selling either at asking price or above. And right now, our total market um, in the entire East Bay, we've got 2,176 houses available for sale, which is about 22% less inventory than what we had even say in January. So it's good news. We're not increasing. We're actually going down a little bit in our inventory percentages. And there's 100, um, I'm sorry, there's 1,769 homes currently pending total overall. And a little, a few couple changes that we've seen, as you, most of you probably know, Bernanke, the federal chair, um, the federal reserve chairman spoke yesterday on where we are and they have decided to keep interest rates the way that they are. So no immediate rise in interest rates. Although I will tell you this last couple of months, the rest of the world, most of the other countries are raising rates. So we do know that that will be coming down the road. It's just at this point, staying level. And a couple of the things that are happening in the loan world that you need to be aware of is years ago our conforming loan rates, which means the loan balance that you would purchase a home where you wouldn't have to go to a jumbo loan was 417,000. We raised that a couple of years ago in the higher end areas, which of course the East Bay is considered higher end across the country, where we could do a conforming loan up to 729. Well, that is officially going back down to 625 at the end of this year. And what that means to the average buyer is it's going to cost you a little more to purchase a home anywhere between say, 600 and 800. Whereas if you can get what's called an FHA lo loan in that range, your cost will be less and your down payment requirement could be less as well. So take advantage of that. If you're planning to buy a home in the next, say, six to eight months, you want to take advantage of that if you're in that price category. Anything above that would have been jumbo anyway, so you're, you're all the same. But right now, again, market's staying stable. If you have any specific questions about your particular home, or your plans to move down the road, of course, call me anytime. My name again is Lisa Doyle. My number is directly to reach me, 925-890-7443. And we'll see you next Friday. Of course, we're doing our updates constantly. So as, as soon as the market begins to show signs of shifting, we'll be sure that you know right away. Thanks again.